All right guys, welcome back. Today's video, a little bit different than what I usually do. I just wanted to share with you some tips on how I think you can get the best possible quality settings using your Elgato game capture card. Now, as you can see, I have the HD60. I have the software open. I have the preview window on, and I have Subnautica in the background. All right, first things first, what you wanna do is you wanna go to this setting here that says show device settings. Now a tab's going to open that's going to have capture, picture, audio, profiles and advanced. Your input device, um, you should set it to whatever you're recording on. So I have a PlayStation 4 Pro, so I set it to PlayStation 4. If you have Xbox One, set it to Xbox One, etc. Your audio input will, by default, will be set to HDMI audio. Color range will, by default, will be set to standard. You can put it to expanded, but on your setup, I'm not sure what will happen. When I set it to expanded on mine, it creates like a white haze on the video, and I don't like that. Now, the profile setting, depending on your computer, if you have a slower computer, you might need to change this to standard or 720. Uh, 720 should be good enough. You can still get good quality video with 720, but my computer can handle 1080, so I, I leave that on 1080. Uh, allow 60 frames per second simply because it gives you a higher bit rate for the video um, with the cost of having a um, bigger storage file and if you're playing a game that's 60 frames per second or some of uh, the very few games on PlayStation that are 60 frames a second I use this setting simply because um, you know you want it to be optimized with the game as well okay this uh, bar here that says quality obviously this will affect the quality of the video Again, it's dependent upon your computer. If you have a slower computer, you might need to back off on the slider. But my computer can handle on uh, best, so I leave it at that. Cropping, I set to none. And these two, I uncheck, simply because I don't want the program doing more than what it needs to do. Picture, you can just leave that at default, unless you want to go ahead and play with that. That's up to you. Audio, I leave on default. Profiles and advanced, I leave on default. Okay, now once you've done that, you want to click this setting up here that says Game Capture HG Preferences. You want to click that setting, and a tab will come up that will say Advanced Hotkeys, Updates, Sharing, and Capture. Now, the encoder, you can just leave that on Automatic, or the software built in. I believe that's the software on the Elgato Game Capture card. Again, the quality, uh, it's dependent upon your computer. If you have a slower computer, you may need to back off on this one as well. But nonetheless, uh, my computer can handle that, so that's what I'll leave it at. Hot keys, if you wanted to press a button to start or stop or record, etc., you can. Updates, now you want to make sure the program is up to date all the time. Uh, feedback, i just check this off. Sharing, all these would be checked by default. I uncheck all these except the MP4 option, and I'll explain why. I think if you have this checked as always convert new videos to MP4 files, I'm not sure if it uh, actual, actually converts videos while you're recording them. So I just uncheck this. That way you can manually convert uh, videos if you want to. It doesn't bother me, so I just leave it at that. Uh, these options here, I don't uh, check because I don't live stream, so these do not concern me. Capture. Uh, now I made a custom uh, file path for the videos. Uh, you can go ahead and do that, or you can leave it on default. Default will be videos, I think. Um, so yeah, you want to go ahead and do that. I obviously record to the C drive, to the uh, the M.2. Now, these two settings here do have an impact on performance. Uh, the flashback recording and stream command. You want to go ahead and uncheck these. And uh, if you have these checked, you will see a bit of a performance hit. If you have them unchecked, it will save you uh, some performance. So you want to go ahead and do that. Now after you've done those, there are still some things you can do. Down here, they will say uh, disable preview. You can click that and it will disable the, uh, disable the preview. And that will save you some CPU usage as well. So it doesn't have to render the video while you're playing. And the sound option, you can uh, mute that so you don't get like a delay effect from your TV speakers or whatever you have to your computer speakers. And after you've done that, of course, you can go down here and make sure there's uh, no uh, programs that are running that don't need to be run. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure the uh, software's up to date. Hopefully this video helped you out, guys. If it did, 
Remember, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.